is for all you this is for all you ladies out there. This this video is for all you ladies out there <clears throat> who are married, okay? And uh and have maybe been married for a while, or maybe not so much, but maybe not so much that you've been married for a long time, but that that uh that are married to uh to um to us guys, to to a man like like me. Alright. <laughs> Most of us guys fit into this bracket and are gonna be able to relate got a lot of cars going by. We're gonna be able to relate to this. Um isn't that pretty? Christmas? It's Christmas. It was Christmas. It's still it's uh the end of January and our Christmas decorations are still up. Cause we hi sweetheart. Making a story about it. Man making a story about it. Takes to to ask Does these the <laughs> <laughs> to ask these ladies out there and uh out there in Venture Rider yeah. and, and, and all over the world um, to to uh, to kind of give them some insight into us guys, how us guys <laughs> Well, number one, we never read directions. That's right, that's right. <laughs> what? Yeah, of the time, you don't have any. No. They know. <laughs> God, her snowball. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, so anyway, um, one of the Christmas presents that we finally got for Cheryl was this little, uh, I'll be right back, was this little thing called, what's that thing called anyway? A closed drying rack. A closed drying rack? Yeah. It's a, a, closed a collapsible, a, cl a collapsible rack to dry clothes on. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little collapsible, collapsible rack to dry clothes on. So, so, and here it is. Now these, these, uh, Typical of most Christmas presents, this clothes rack. <clears throat> I put together a lot of Christmas presents because we raised four kids and all that kind of stuff. But one of the things that, <clears throat> being a guy, that I have yet to learn is to read instructions. I Guys do not read instructions. Now, this is that clothes rack that she was talking about. And if you notice on this, if you notice on this clothes rack, somewhere here, oh, right here, right here. Right here, right here. We use the car for a workbench. That's something else we. That's something else those guys do as well. We use whatever's. We use whatever's at our our, our disposal, to uh to for a workbench. You know, a car can be a workbench. Side of the house can be a workbench. The roof, whatever. But anyway, so here's uh notice this little sign right here. It says I don't know if you can read it on there or not, but it says. Position latch stick between these two holes as shown in the instruction seat. So they kind of manufacturers know how us guys think. So uh, so they give us instructions. They put stickers on stuff as well as instruction books. Well, I didn't follow the instruction. So Tippy's, I put this thing all together, gave it to her, big smile on my face. Waiting for my re my justly manly rewards. So uh, so she co just come to me. She's getting ready to use it. This clothes rack. And uh, and look what I did. I don't know if you can see this here or not. That that <laughs> that little guy right there is supposed to be underneath underneath this underneath these these that one. And that one is supposed to sit that latch down across those. But look at there's no way there's no way. <laughs> I was, I was, so now I've got this thing all pounded together and everything and she's like she's like, How is this supposed to work? And I'm like, Uh oh. So now I gotta fix it. Now this thing is a this thing's a monster because every one of those little pegs, those little Cross members have got to go into these dowels, those pins right there. You got to, and I mean, to put the something like this together, you got to line everything all up and get it all set up. And, and it's like when it's together, there ain't no way to take it back apart again to fix it. This this isn't nuts and bolts. This is like hammer, hammer and manpower, which is kind of fun. Okay, but I really screwed up here. So now I got to fix it. So now what I'm going to do here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to cheat. That's something else us guys do a lot is with in building stuff like this is we uh, is we make things make things work. So what I'm going to do is I've got this slit out. This top one slit out as far as I can slide it out. See that to expose some of the dowel. Yeah. 
So I'm going to take now. I'm going to take now. I'm going to take this. This is called a this is called a hacksaw. All right, it's a hacksaw. It's a hack. It's for hacking. It's for for us guys do a lot of hacking when we're building stuff. I'm going to hack. I'm going to hack this right across here like that. See there? See how I'm going to hack that? I'm going to just I'm going to I'm going to hack that off with a hacksaw. It's actually meant for these hacksaws are actually meant for hacking, hacking steel like bolts and nuts and that kind of stuff. But I'm going to hack that doll out of there and, uh, and I'm going to fix it. So, okay, uh, I can't hold the camera and hack and do the hack at the same time. So I'm going to shut this. So I'm going to 